Hello again. Um, we are going to be talking about the iron formation, oxidation number, and radicals. So to begin with, an iron is a particle that is either positively or negatively charged. A positively charged iron is known as a cation, while a negatively charged iron is known as an anion. Ions are formed from elements which do not have full outermost energy levels. Group 8 elements cannot form any iron because the outermost energy level is already full. Elements from group 1, 2, and 3 are positively charged, that is, they are cations. Elements from group 5, 6, and 7 are negatively charged, that is, they are anions. My friends here are going to draw for you an example of a cation and an anion. When an element loses its electrons, it forms a positively charged ion and when it gains an electron, it forms a negatively charged ion. So, as seen here, um, we are going to use this example of lithium. Lithium has three protons, three electrons and four neutrons, but for now, we can focus on the number of protons and electrons. So the electron arrangement of the lithium um, of the lithium element is two one. So it is easier to lose this one than to gain seven more to make the outermost energy level complete. So if we lose the one, we are going to have an electron arrangement of two with three protons and two electrons. We will then subtract the two electrons from the three protons to get one. And this one is the charge that we have in the, in the lithium. As mentioned earlier, the one is going to be positive because if you lose an electron, you're going to gain a positive charge. And the ion of the lithium is going to be lithium one positive. Using nitrogen as an example, the, we, we will take the protons which are seven, electrons which are negative seven, and neutrons which are seven. But for now, we will focus on protons and electrons. Uh, as the electronic configuration is 2, 5, we will find it easier to add 3 to this electronic configuration instead of losing 5 in order to make the, in order to make the atom stable, therefore forming 2, 8. And from 2, 8, we get that the protons will be 7, electrons will be 10. And when we subtract these, we will get negative 7, forming the ion for nitrogen, which will be nitrogen 3, negative. Uh, moving on to radicals. A radical is a group of atoms which have a net charge that exists and react as a unit during chemical reactions. Using the examples given, the oxidation number for lithium will be 1 positive, while the oxidation number for nitrogen will be 3 negative. And with that, we can tell that the oxidation number is the same as 1. The group which the element forming the ion belongs to and 2, the number of electrons lost from the atom. We will now move on to the radicals. There are six radicals that we are going to talk about today. Five of these radicals are anions, while one of these radicals is a cation. The five anions include the carbonate ion, the sulfate ion, the sulfite ion, the phosphate ion, and the and the nitrate ion, and the cation is the ammonium ion. Two, negative, three, the sulfate ion has SO, two, negative, four. The sulfite ion has the symbol SO, two, negative, three. The nitrate ion has the symbol NO1 negative 3, while the phosphate ion has the symbol PO3 negative 4. And lastly, the ammonium ion with the symbol with the symbol NH1 plus 4. So with that, viewers, we have come to the end of our radicals, ion formation, and the oxidation numbers. Thank you so very much for watching. We hope you have learned a lot.